Hello all, in the last session we have analyzed that to what users Amazon can recommend more product so that there is a high probability that user is going to buy that product, right? And for this we have done various manipulation and aggregations, group buy and things like that, right? That's what we have done in the last session. So in this session, the challenge is all about which product has good number of reviews. Again, by the way, in context of life cycle itself, we are trying to shed light on this EDA area because the problem statement is all about which product has good number of reviews. It means that it belongs to a data analysis section problem. Again, before showing you some simple approach, let me show you the simple code snippet. So if I say as data dot columns, these are all the columns we have, right? So, okay, I'm going to access one of the feature, which is a product ID, right? I'm going to say feature is a product ID, right? Just execute it. Now you will notice that these are the various product ID for each of the row. If I will call a unique function just to get all the product IDs we have, right? So these are the various product ID. So if I need the unique count, I can think of calling a len function or you can also call a any unique function. It says that, okay, these are the total number of the product or these are the total number of the unique product what we have in our data. It means that these are the types of products we have in our data. So to do analysis for such a huge number, it is quite hectic. So let me put a simple filter as I will do a analysis, right? The problem statement is all about. I will do analysis for only those product which are, let's say, which are the most frequent sold product, right? I will say as which frequent sold product has good number of reviews, right? Now you might ask question as, okay, what product would lie under this area, which is a frequent sold product? I can say as, okay, let's say, let me set some threshold value. I can say that any product, if it is going to purchased, let's say 600 times, I will consider that particular product as a frequent sold product. Or if any particular product, which is sold more than 500 times, I will consider that particular product as most sold product. Now you might ask, okay, how we can actually come up with this value, right? This is another very interesting question. Again, it depends upon the data behavior and typically someone known as a domain expertise can suggest you what could be the best threshold value. So let me consider a threshold value of, let's say, greater than 500. So it means that at the end of the day, I need a data like that. Let's say, okay, this particular product ID gets sold 912 times, right? This one gets sold that much number of times and things like that. So very first, I'm going to say as dot value underscore counts so that I will end up getting the frequency table of this product ID feature, right? This is a frequency table. Again, if you want to convert this into data frame, you can just call two underscore frame function. This is a data frame. It says that this particular product get sold that much number of time and things like that. Let me store it in a data frame, let's say products underscore count. Let me execute it. Now, if you want to print the data frame, you can just print it very, very simple thing. Now, among all these product IDs, right, I will consider only those product which are going to sold more than 500 times. So let me filter out all those product IDs. Right. I can say that data of, right. Okay. 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 The data frame on which we are running it on is my product underscore count. Let me consider a feature as a product ID, right? Because this is a product ID feature. I can just press tab. This is a feature. If I will put a filter as greater than 500, if I will execute it, look at this, wherever it is true, it means at that instance, a value will be greater than 500. If I will consider, okay, just consider this as a filter, right? And just pass this filter inside my product underscore count. If I will execute it, you will notice that, right? This is a whole data frame. For each of the product ID, you will end up getting count more than 500. Again, these are the product IDs, right? And these are nothing but the indexes of the data frame, right? Hence, I can say that, I can just call a index attribute 
just to get all the product ids it means these are my most frequent product so as soon as i have all these product or you can say as soon as i have all these product ids or most sold product ids if i can represent a data using such a grouped bar chart our task is done right now let me show you okay so on y axis what we have right this is the y axis right on y axis what we have we have the product id and on x axis what we have we have the count right we have the count of scores right or you can say count of ratings now look at this let's say for this particular product id imagine this is that right imagine this is that imagine now it says that right this bigger bar belongs to my score 5 or you can say a uh, rating 5 it means that this particular product id has received most number of the highest ratings or you can say most number of the good reviews right as soon as you will see this grouped bar chart you can make very very interesting understanding so in this session let me tell you how you can actually do it seaborn again by the way you can do it matplotlib you can do it with respect to plotly there are tens of packages so let me show you how you can actually do it with respect to seaborn itself so let me store it as frequent right i will say as frequent product ids right so let me just print these are my frequent product ids again if i need data with respect to frequent product ids only it means that i have to very first access our data frame right here i can say as product id i am going to call a uh, one of the amazing function which is a is in function if i press shift plus tab it says that just mention set of values now its documentation string is as simple as that it says that whether each element in the data frame is contained in values it means i need data frame for all these product ids only right so if i will mention the array what we have which is frequent product ids the moment i press tab this is the array if i will execute it so this is a filter wherever it is false it means that at that particular instance right i do not have a element among the array i have right just consider this code or this series as a filter let me pass this filter inside in my this one if i will execute it this is the data frame what you need let me store it in frequent underscore product underscore df just execute it again if you want to print the okay 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 if i if i want to print the frequent product df this is what the data frame is all about now if i'm going to say as sns i have another very amazing function which is a count plot function okay by the way on x axis look at this i have to mention something on x axis y axis hue data and things like that so what it does is it just show the count of the observation in each categorical bin using the bar plot it means that count plot is nothing but it is just a simple bar plot so if i say that okay the data frame is my frequent underscore product df dot columns right i can say that let me just consider this feature let's say i need this feature on x axis right and the data frame is all about frequent underscore product df let me just execute this line of code right now for each of the product id you will end up getting some count so okay just to make this plot more interactive let me set this on let's say on y axis just execute it now it says that okay this product id has that much count it means that this product id right got sold approximately more than 900 times this is what this count plot or a bar plot is actually telling us now let me leverage one of the very fancy parameter which is a hue parameter so in this hue parameter the moment i mention my score parameter because the problem statement is all about which product has good number of reviews and score feature is reflecting what the review of a product is right if i will execute it look at the look at the magic over here now it says that for each of the product id can you tell me a bars for each of the scores right look at this for this product id can you tell me some count right for each of the scores let's say for this product id it seems that 600 times a users have given a rating 5 right this is a simple insight similarly this product right for this product id the count is approximately 